And so having layers has a whole bunch of other applications as well. I'm going to open a new document really quick just to illustrate this. And I'm actually going to just delete the background layer right off the bat because I don't want the white background. The white background, you know, is just not that helpful. I like to start out with a, uh, a truly clean canvas, if you will. So on my first layer, I'm just going to draw a random red square. Er, hold on. Draw a filled shape. Random red square. I'm going to open a new layer. I'm going to do a blue circle. And I'm going to do a green you know, sort of diamond thing, I guess, on its own layer. I'm going to do the diamond by selecting the entire layer and then rotating it independently of everything else, which is another really cool feature of having layers is that I can edit things in each layer completely independent of everything else that's on the canvas right now. Like, I can take layer 2, which is my blue circle, and I can move it all by itself. Now, how cool is that? Take layer three, or layer two, sorry, and do the same. Well, I have two layer twos. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call that layer one. Actually, it's one of the things you can do in properties is you can rename your layers to whatever you want it to be, and you can change your opacity, your, your transparency, basically. And look at that. You can make it more transparent, again, independent of everything else on your canvas. It's kind of a big deal. And so that is just a quick overview of how the layers work and how you know, the fill tool fights with the anti-aliasing all the time, and it's just a good idea to keep your outlines and your fills on separate layers. And I hope you have good luck getting a hang of how to use these layers, and I hope you take full advantage of them.